Good afternoon, welcome to another episode of Farming Simulator 2013 with the Rude Man. And we left off last night, pretty dang late, if I might add. Um, for me, real time. I uh, set up a course to mow some grass. In the meantime, I got up this morning and I started looking for mods. I had a subscriber ask me if I could make a mod list uh, of the mods that I use. That's going to take a while because I have a lot of mods. Now, what I thought I'd do to begin with is just list the mods that I'm actually using in the game. Now, I do have a lot of mods that I have uh, that I'm not using that are in the game uh, because, I, because I haven't purchased them yet. Um, but I did I did find when I was looking for for mods. I had a couple things in mind to look for. I uh, mentioned, I think in the last episode or so, that um, when I bought that big Starship Enterprise that the uh, forager wagons weren't wide enough uh, for the uh, rows that that thing was windrowing in. So I went looking for different forager wagons to see what I could find, and I found some of those. But I also found some pretty interesting things. Um, I've sold some things so that I could buy other things to replace them and that's why you see I'm down to 256,000 because you don't always get your money back when you sell stuff so let me give you a quick uh, look at what I've what I've purchased and let's see if I can figure it out okay so I did buy um, I bought another overloader for potatoes and um, I don't know if I mentioned it but the uh, Big Bear trailer will do both uh, beets and potatoes and I had a, a subscriber point that out to me um, I already I already knew that but uh, it wasn't you know fresh on my mind and I wasn't doing I, I was already using the one I had for beets so I couldn't use it for potatoes oh and I left it dirty look at my tractors filthy too Oh man, what kind of farmer am I? So anyway, a working one, I guess, because my equipment's all dirty. Um, I bought another Ropa, and I actually downloaded a different uh, Ropa pack. Now, this is the Ropa um, Tiger XL, and some time ago, there was... Um, a mod that I found that did uh, both of potatoes and uh, beets but it was on a, a mod page that I did not care for it it, it you know had a lot of uh, trouble with it I didn't um, you know they it just wasn't safe web page so I went ahead and picked up the one that everybody else had um, this just a regular one <clears throat> that does just sugar beets well, I got to dinking around this morning, and I found a page that had one that um, I can't say 100% trust, but I felt was a little safer. So I went ahead and exchanged the version, mod version I had with this version. And they're essentially the same. The only difference is that you can get two heads. You get one potato head. <laughs> potato head, that's a joke. Uh, Mr. Potato Head. You get one Mr. Potato Head. And then the other one is marked as sugar beets. So now the heads in the previous one didn't have this nice lettering on them that said sugar beets and potatoes. Wasn't any need to because you couldn't do potatoes. So that's one of the things I did. So uh, to kind of make up the difference, now these are cheaper than the uh, Grimm's that I was using, that, that Grimm potato harvester. This is cheaper. So, you know, it didn't quite wash out. I lost a little money, but that's okay. So I sold the Grimm and bought this. And um, let's see, what else? What else did I do? I must have done something else. <laughs> well, let's just take a look, see what I got in here. Oh, I know, the quickest way is to go to my owned Okay, 
So like I say, I, I traded some stuff and I sold some stuff. I still have the Crone, um, let's see, what am I using? All right. Um, I downloaded another one of these. This is this is the same one that I had. I I'm keeping it. Uh, but I I found one that was over 20 meters, so uh, of the same kind of model, just a little bit wider. So I I downloaded that mod. Although I haven't purchased it yet. I'm not doing any cultivating right at the moment. Okay, so it doesn't look like... Alright, well, it doesn't look like I did anything else money-wise. So, let's take a look, though, at some of the things that I did download. Mods by machine type. And let's see... Okay, there's the, uh, oh, it's 22 meters. It's 22 meters. And it has a uh, meter beautiful animation. Well, I don't know what makes the animation beautiful, but there it is. So, yeah, I, I, I downloaded that. I haven't purchased it yet. Like I said, I'm not cultivating yet, and I spent quite a bit of money. So, uh, putting that off for a little bit. There's the old one. And this one, of course, sells for just a little bit more money than the one I had. Let's see if I did anything in miscellaneous. Anything new? Oh, I did, I did, I did. Okay. I downloaded the John Deere truck pack. So, it's got some shiny new trucks and trailers. And, uh, again, I'm not in the market yet to purchase them, but I've been using those cat trucks forever. I thought it'd be kind of nice to have something new. So, I downloaded those. Okay, that's it for miscellaneous. Let's see. Weight, snow, baling technology. I need a new baler. I have that one. But, uh, need to buy a new baler. Loading wagons. Okay. Uh, I got some new loading wagons. I got this Crone Turbo 2500. And I'm not quite sure if this is one that'll work any better than the one I have. Uh, but it looks kind of cool. And then I got the Crone Turbo 3500. So it's a little bit bigger capacity. And again, I don't know if it's got a wider uh, cut to it or not. I, I suppose I'll have to find uh, buy them to find out. But... And then, let's see, is that one? This is a different version. I, I do have the uh, 5500 uh, Crone that I, that I own. This is just a different version. And look at the capacity that thing has on it. It's a Crone wagon with a 60,000 liter capacity and new Michelin Axio bib tires to maximize your profits. So... That one's kind of cool, too. I don't know, like I said, if it's got any wider swath or not. Anyway, that's what I bought for uh, forage wagons. I'm still looking. I didn't want to spend all my morning looking for, for mods. But, um, let's see. I don't think there's anything else. Slurry tanks, manure tanks, sprayers, fertilizers, sewing machines, plows, cultivators, tippers. Did I get to? Let's see if those John Deere tippers are in here, because they're supposed to be... Oh, there they are. Okay, there's the new John Deere multi-fruit trailers. There's the G GDXL, and it's really hard... Boy, that's a dark graphic, isn't it? Looks like it got big deer on the side, though. It's good for almost everything. They ran out of room to put everything in there. You can even get Dinkle in there. Hey, there's somebody Dinkling in my trailer. All right, so let's see. This one's probably the same. It's just a little bit smaller, maybe. Well, it's got the same volume. I don't know what the difference is. It's hard to tell. Uh, the The graphic is so dark. Is that thing open so you can see the contents of the trailer? I can't tell. 
Anyway, there we go. I think that's it for the new downloads. That was it for my equipment purchases and exchanges, whichever. So um, I think I got some better stuff. And we need to continue on with what we were doing, which was sowing the oats. Although it's only barley, not oats, but it was just a metaphor. Okay. Take the break off. Uh, yeah, you still got seed. It's barley. Let's see if he'll start where he left off. Oh, he's stuck. Oh, I... I... Where am I? Oh, I'm in field number six. All right. Let's see if we can get by this telephone pole. Yeah, I may have a tr I may have problems with this. Let me see if I can uh Maybe I can make a uh, a headland here. Just a small one cuz it looked like I almost cleared that thing. Alright, um, turn off the sower, fold the sower. Did it automatically go down to the ground? Because usually you have to lower them. Oh well, I guess it did. Yeah, it must have. It made a strip the whole trip there. Alright. Let's see if we can uh, get this thing started now. He should miss that telephone pole. Hopefully. Let's put the uh, tires... I, I don't like that the tires come off this thing when you quit your game. But I don't know if there's any way to fix it. Well, he's a little out of whack, but that's all right. <clears throat> so, if you remember in the last episode, I bought this guy because I didn't. I needed a, a more than one seater, and uh, so we got him going. And this is course twenty-four, I believe. And as I mentioned last episode, I need to clean this thing up. This, this is getting a little out of hand. I keep thinking I'm going to do it uh, in between episodes offline, but it seems like I've always got so much to catch up on, I don't get to it. As I've said many times, a farmer's work is never done. Let's see how this uh, course play handles this uh, odd-shaped field. I'm sure there's probably going to be some places that are like that, that are going to be not quite seated, but oh well, what can we do about that, eh? Uh, let's see, we were going to get the Starship Enterprise moving, and this is where I ended last night. I did get a good night's sleep, by the way. Uh, I got up pretty early, I was up about 5.30 this morning. like I need to mo 27 that's this one yeah I don't know what it is about life but there's times where I just work my butt off and get home and you're you're kind of tired but you feel good and there's other times where you don't you feel like you don't do anything and you're just exhausted. That's the way I was yesterday. 
I just felt like I got nothing done and I was just, just utterly exhausted. Is this thing extended? It is, isn't it? Okay. I keep forgetting that it does this. It has to start itself all over. You say, hey, you dummy. You didn't fold me up last time you used me. And I got to do it myself. Yeah, sorry about that. You know what they say. If you want something done right, do it yourself. All right. Um... See I, see, I hate to buy those crones that I downloaded just to see if there's a wider swath. Um, gosh, I had a subscriber tell me just this morning, it was after I downloaded these two crones, he said that there was a crone, oh, did I know that there was a crone with a wider swath? And I don't, I didn't necessarily know that it had a wider swath. I knew there were other crones out there and that they were bigger than what I was using. So, um, if you know of a particular one, uh, let me know and I'll download it. As I, I downloaded a couple like I showed you, but I don't know if they have a wider swath. And I don't want to purchase the darn thing and find out that it doesn't. So, I was kind of waiting for my, uh, my test uh, map that I use, that I dink around on. Uh, to purchase it and test it out. So, yeah, I just didn't want to spend the money because you lose it if you spend it. You don't when you sell the thing, you only get half the price back. All right, is there anything else we need to be doing in particular? This guy I was moving him around. Now this field here doesn't belong to anybody, and I don't know if it's actually considered to be a field. It's not on the map. So I'm thinking about making a, a manual course play on this, um, like I did that other field, the, the field right across here behind my house. I made a manual course play uh, to mow that. And... I'm thinking about doing the same thing with that field. As a matter of fact, I decided to keep this guy for the time being because there are a couple of uh, smaller fields. I mean, he takes a little bit of time to get his work done, but uh, you know, if it's a smaller field, that one might be too big. It has to make some pretty wide turns. On a large field, that's okay. Oh, also, this is a big grass field too. So there's a ton of grass on this on this map that you can cut for either cattle or uh, and or uh, making silage and making money. I made quite a bit of money just selling silage. So uh, yeah, I'd get if I get or when when I get flush, I'll buy buy up all the uh, grass maps. Uh, fields and uh, I probably won't need the silage by then plus I like to uh, make corn silage I don't know why I just do because it's something different to do you get you, you got to have different equipment to grow corn and uh, and, and chaff it it's kind of fun they're a pain in the butt to regulate those those uh, those machines, those chafing machines. I don't know if it's chafe or chaff. Could be either one. I've heard it both ways. And I'm no expert. I don't think there's an expert in the world on the English language. How could there be? You spell love, L-O-V-E, but it's if you use L-U-V, it'd be the same thing. It'd make more sense.
there's several several words there's many words in the English language that the same word spelled the same way pronounced differently and mean different things so it, it just doesn't make any sense I don't speak English anyway I speak American I have to have a closed caption on when I watch the BBC can't understand what they're saying half the time I always thought shag was a carpet, but all right. I'm not. I'm not going to take the time to do a manual on this. That takes forever, especially with this thing. So I'm just going to get him started mowing this field over here, because I already have um, a course set up for that using this equipment. I think. mowing maybe not I lied no I think I just haven't put it in it's in here some way mow grass at the farmyard I still have to find out what this milk field is I just I just can't remember what I did Oh, well, that's a stop. I was going to say I thought I started it over in this other corner. Yeah, there's a... You know what I need to do? I need to go to the milk farm and see if there's a field there that I did something with. And I was, you know, lazy in naming the thing. just called it the milk field. You never know. I do some crazy things when I'm tired. Alright, let's get this thing started. Alright, let's kick this pig. Now, I thought I had two foraging wagons. Where's the other one? There he is. He's sitting there doing nothing. Okay. Where is the milk place anyway? Um, oh, I remember. It's by Budweiser. Remember, I made a comment about uh, beer drinkers and milk drinkers, you know, next door neighbors. I hope everybody's having a good summer. I happened to think about that yesterday when I was out and about and uh, noticed that the uh, that nighttime's coming a little sooner every day. And the first thing I thought was, well, hell, we haven't even had summer yet. Uh, you know, much of one. And already that's getting dark early. Uh, it just... It just seems like when I was a kid, uh, it stayed lighter longer than it does now. But I guess time just flies faster. Yeah, it just you know, it just seems like it was nine thirty, ten o'clock, and still light. And now it's getting dark at eight, eight thirty. Pretty soon, we'll be getting up, and going to work in, in the dark, and getting up, or getting up, and going to work in the dark, and coming home in the dark. And I don't know about this daylight savings time. I never have liked it. I think they should, I think they should extend it in the summer, you know, so that it's light, you know, at 9, 30, 10 o'clock, and and just leave it there. Just get away, do away with standard time. Just just keep daylight savings time. Because I sure hate to turn the clock, make monkey with the clock all the time. Can't even remember. Is it spring forward and fall back? So you lose an hour of sleep right when you need it. how much silage I've got. 
Oh, really? I got silage in three bunkers? How'd that happen? Huh, I don't remember that. Well, it looks like three's got quite a bit in it. Well, that's weird. Huh. I don't remember that. Can't remember what I was doing. Yeah, what I do, pick this the slowest tractor I have to, to make a exploration trip. Should have took my new toy. I haven't shown you my new toy. Let's pull this guy over. And I'll show you my new toy. Oh, there he was. I bought a Beamer. Whoa! Rev that engine up. Yeah, I bought a Beamer. So, let's see here. We got, uh, we got, uh, door open over here. Yeah. Cool. Oh, he's driving the door open. Alright, what else we got? We got, uh, ooh. As they say in England, the bonnet is up. So that's the hood. And there's the other door. There's the trunk. Uh-oh, better check make sure there's not a body in the trunk before I show anybody. Nope. No body in the trunk. Okay. Oh, it even says up there. It even says open the bonnet. Look at that. Ha! <laughs> Crazy. All right. Up, down, window, left. Oh, the windows go up and down in the doors. That's pretty fancy. Maybe. All right. There they go. Look at that. Pretty cool. All right. Close the trunk. Close the door. Close the hood. Close the other door. Get inside and take a look. Can't remember if I left the windows up or down. I wonder if it'll show from the inside. Huh, I can't tell. Oh, look, there's no back seat. Is there? Alright, so. This is one, that's three. I can't tell. Okay, the windows are down. Okay, now it's up. And over here, they're up. Okay. Let's see. Now you probably got a pretty good idea what's going to happen to me doing 62 miles an hour in a BMW. <laughs> uh, I'm in trouble. Well, I only did this for one reason. It's just for show. Ooh, oh, oh! Duke's a hazard. I should have got the uh, General Lee. Oh, I'm tearing up fencing. Can't remember. I can't remember who it was. Told me they got the General Lee. This thing needs new shocks or something. Okay. Yeah. While I'm doing this, I'm not getting any work done. Let's see if we can find Budweiser. Oh, took the wrong left. Oh, sidewalk driving. Sure quiet. I didn't think it was going to be quiet when it started up. It made quite a roar when it started up. Alright, here's the milk. Now, why would I... Have Name something the the milk field. I don't 
I don't get it. I don't know what I did. Wouldn't be that one. That one's got a number. And it wouldn't be this one, because this one has a number. I just don't have any idea why I did that. And there's no field out here. Well, that's just crazy. I want to grab a beer while we're here? Oh, don't tell me you don't sell retail. Alright, fine. Alright. Want to see what my new truck can do? I can find it. Okay, where you at, buddy? I gotta straighten that out, too. I got that, uh... Grouping thing. Okay, watch this. I gotta go fill up this rig anyway. I just don't remember the, uh... One ton, the other one ton doing this, but uh, yeah, look, I can do wheelies. Woohoo! I, I don't remember it doing it, but maybe it did. Maybe I just didn't drive it that fast or cut corners. Wow! Now notice, it goes quite a ways on. Look, I can, I can wheelie. <laughs> you just gotta control the speed. That's the best driving I've ever done. <laughs> That's too fun. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I know what you're thinking. You got too damn much sleep last night. You're probably right. And this isn't the tractor that needs the uh, seed, is it? Yeah, I don't know. It's got that huge cedar and it's only got an 8,000 capacity on the seed. But, I guess uh, if it had a huge capacity, they wouldn't need me, would they? They'd just do their job. Now, I've tried this from every direction and the only way I can get this thing to load is by almost running into it. Now, I tried it uh, from the left side, the right side, and I tried it not too close, and it did the fertilizer, but it didn't do the seed. So you gotta really get up to it to get the seed. You almost have to bump it. The other thing is, as soon as you start putting seed in it, the darn thing will start working again. So. I'm going to I'm going to stop the driver and then fill it up cuz it doesn't fill all the way up. He gets about there and then he takes off on me. Although it does it does uh fill pretty fast. That that was pretty quick. So let's get him going again. He's off doing his thing, which means that probably this other guy probably isn't too far behind on running out of seed. So I'm gonna have to change the name of this truck. I I just Tai Tai. It's a Tai Tai truck. I said what I really think it says in the last episode, but I but I don't wanna I don't wanna get potty mouth. I get trouble if I get potty mouth. I get stood in a corner. Okay. Yeah, we might as well just wait here. He's bound to run out sooner or later. Or I could Let's see if I can catch this guy. Run, 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 run. Hey, I can outrun a tractor. I'm faster than a speeding bullet. I'm super rude, man. Well, I'm not quite catching up to him. 
just let them mar. Slow down. I'm almost there. Got it. Oh, that was close. He almost ran over me. Wonder, you know, it would have tore me into pieces. Oh, I'm not running clear back to that truck. I need to rearrange my... Which, God darn it. Which one is he? He's, uh... I thought I had him in... There he is. He's in group 8. Okay. I gotta reorganize those groups. I'm forgetting where I put everything. I started off with everything in the same group, but then you get 15 tractors and... It doesn't do you much good. So I, then I started, okay, um, this is what I need for harvesting. This is what I need for doing beets and potatoes. And, um, yeah, I got myself confused. And then I set up one for utilities. Ow, got to get a little close on that. For utility vehicles. So uh, that would be, I had uh, my fuel truck. And the uh, front front wheel loaders at the biogas, but I'm getting too many of those too now. So let's fill this guy up. Okay, where's the seed? Am I not getting any seed? Uh, okay. That's odd. I can't get any closer to this guy. I wonder if he has to be folded before he'll take new seed. I would not be surprised about that. Here, surprise me. Okay, is he close enough? Yeah. Yeah. He's pushing him. Can't get any closer than that. Okay, what's going on? Why won't you take seed? Because it's showing that he's only 1%. Oh, man. Come on. What's going on? Alright, let me double check something here. What an, I am planting barley on this field. So that's what he has in him. Doesn't make any sense. Alright, I just don't have a clue as to what is happening. I'm confused. All right, now he's officially out a few of uh, seed. This just doesn't make any sense. And I don't think you have to fill the truck back up, do you? Doesn't that work just like the fuel that you've always got some and it just comes out of your money? at whatever price the f this stuff is. There it goes, there it goes, there it goes. Stop him though or he'll take off before he's full. That was crazy. Why do you have to be completely empty? That didn't make any sense. I don't like it when things don't make sense. All right. 
Now, well, who's finished his work? That guy. Get him out of the way. I'm just going to put him over here for now. We can't hurt anybody. Alright. You stay there. We're going to run over real quick and say hello to Mr. Potato Head. Hello. Okay, that, enough of that. Yeah, I could. I figured I could cheat and buy those crones, and then cheat my money back in. But uh, I do enough cheating as it is. I, I'll just uh, test them out on my test world and see how they work. And if they work good, then I'll buy them. Now, where'd I put that windrower? Now, it looks like I'm going to be, uh, if I don't get all this stuff done, I still have a couple fields to do. I'm going to be harvesting in the dark. It's, uh, what, 8 o'clock? I always get confused in military time. 24-hour clock. Or a 12 hour clock, 24 hour clock, whatever it is. Now, because I can drive through the fences, I keep forgetting that the telephone poles have collision on them. in there. Grass. Where's grass at? Mow grass in the farmyard. Okay. And looks like somebody else finished work. Can't have that. Go back to work. Wasn't him. Wasn't him. Who else did I have working? I got everything in the world running, though. I'm going to run out of gas. Okay, and you too. But which John Deere is finished? That guy. Alright. Now, let's see, that was field six that he was working on, was it? So let's run him up to field 35, get him going on that. God, I hate that. I hate the way that thing goes up and down.
Ah, it bugs me. And I don't even have OCD. Well, that's just irritating. Okay, now we've got uh, telephone poles again, so I think there's an issue here. And this is field, what did I say this was? Field uh, 35. Okay, and we're in the southwest corner heading north. So... All right, we go thirty five south west heading north and generate the course. Seed field. 35. Okay, let's bring this guy around. Where'd your tires go? I must have been messing around trying to turn the lights on and I turned his tires, took his tires off. And you gotta wonder, where does he store those when you take them off of him? Kind of like some of these games like World of Warcraft, you know, you you pull up and you're getting ready to go into battle and the guy reaches behind him and pulls out an eight-foot sword and you got to wonder where did he have that sheathed because there was nothing on his backside. Well, we got a little bit of stuff done. We got a lot of nonsense done. And uh, it's getting dark. I've got one more field after this one. And I should be able to, this guy should be done. You get close. I'll, I'll get these doubled up over here and we'll knock this off. And the next time I uh, come on, maybe we'll harvest. In the meantime, it's been fun. Thanks for being here, and I want to wish you all a good day.